Buffalo People Arts Institute, we, we hosted and we organized the Buffalo Stampede Project. And uh, one of the, the main reasons that we wanted to, to have this in an urban setting is um, to honor the spirit of the buffalo. And Regina, uh, being a formerly called pile of bones, is in reference to the pile of buffalo bones that were um, located nearby the city of Regina. <laughs> Understanding the importance of the buffalo and what the buffalo means to indigenous people. You know, the, when we talk about truth and reconciliation, and I know um, I know we've heard a lot in the news about truth and reconciliation. And so I know there's been some people who talk about reconciliation as let's move forward. But the truth part is still the part that we need the, the mainstream public to be aware of. Um, it's an education process for everyone. And it's a continual learning and, and teaching you know, both ways, being reciprocal as to, to the Indigenous and the non-Indigenous people. And, and for the most part, doing, doing the Stampede was to, you know, educate people on, on the creativity and the, you know, the history of, of Indigenous people and, and where we come from and how we, how we interact with, you know, the, the nature that's around us and our surroundings. So um, it was very, it was impactful, you know, even... You know, going dancing through the parade, hearing people saying, "You know, you guys look great. You're doing awesome." And you know, and then the, the comments afterward is is that, you know, it was really good to see the buffalo, you know, walking down the streets of Regina, even though it was an artistic form. The most important thing that we wanted to do was to to um, not necessarily say that we we know those buffalo ceremonies. It was to call those people who knew the buffalo ceremonies, come help us teach. We're starving for knowledge. Um, and and also to bring the youth because they're also starving and they're they're do ha they are doing calls out for help you know and there is a, a high suicide rate amongst our indigenous communities our youth are um, are starving you know not just um, they're, they're starving for food for their soul so we hope that you know by doing the Buffalo Stampede project and bringing these people who who look like buffalo, maybe had some buffalo headpieces and, and learn some buffalo dances, learn some buffalo songs that we, when we participated um, in the Queen City exhibition, we wanted to um, take over the streets of Regina. It just so happened there was a Queen City exhibition parade, so we used that venue um, as an opportunity to walk the streets of Regina and, and take over the streets of Regina. Uh, you know, I know a lot of our youth um, don't have access, and so, you know, through our, our traditional Indigenous teachings, you know, it, it kind of, it, it goes hand in hand with those spiritual teachings. And so, by, by bringing these, these buffalo, this buffalo arts, the, the workshops, and then it goes hand in hand with bringing those ceremonies. So when we, we hand down uh, or we, we bring in people to, to facilitate or we bring in elders or knowledge keepers to, to do the ceremony part, you know, we're, we're hoping that it's kind of a holistic art therapy um, in, in helping people, so mainly Indigenous youth, but as well as um, the, the parents and the grandparents of those youth. So it gives them tools to, to help them to, to grow or even understand where they're coming from so that um, that we can thrive instead of just um, surviving. You know, and I know a lot of people um, are looking for different ways to, to, um, to help our youth. So this is just one of those ways that we want to, to share, you know, the, the share our art practice through buffalo high tanning, you know, through making buffalo head pieces, through learning those buffalo songs, those buffalo dances, whether it's contemporary, traditional, just bringing it back to our community uh, and saying that we want to share. Yeah.